Okay, so here we have the calyx. This is the bottom. Doesn't matter, right or left, that don't matter. This is the top. Go right in here. And then that's how you adjust it. You want it all the way up. There are two screws that you could adjust. You could adjust pretty much about two inch up or down. From here, you could have two inch more. And if you hold on, I'm gonna get my... So this is the lowest that it could sit. From the floor, 28 inch. You could have two more inch here. See, so can you record that right here? You see this much, you could go up about two inch, one and a half inch. Now, these are all the screws that come. Sorry, we're being a little bit unorganized, but it's okay. Um, you're gonna have enough, even a little bit more for everything. So you have screws, the big ones. You're gonna have eight of these for here. Okay, and you have the back. And then you have the big fat knot that goes in the back. Okay, and then we're gonna pause and we're gonna come. So you're gonna have all those eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the big ones are for here. We're gonna pause and we're gonna come back. Okay, so just wanted to uh, show you guys this too. So we're gonna have three different type of uh, screw and nuts that you're gonna be needing two number 19, okay, wrench number 17 and number 10, or one of these things, number 10 or 17 or 19. That's we get our, our way. Then you're gonna have this that sits right here, all right? right there and obviously we're gonna extend the table and these two go in the back this one goes in the back there are already holes in there these two holes that go right here and for that one you're gonna use the small screws for the back the small ones right for the bottom one you're gonna use the large screws okay and then we're gonna come back, we're gonna show you. So this one goes in the back, there are already holes in there. And this one in the bottom, there are already holes in there too. And we're gonna come back and show you how we do it. So that's how it's gonna be. Right, the screw, the washer, there is a hole right in there. And then the nut. Right there. And this one. Okay, now you could use this one too if you want, I didn't. So before you put that, you could use this one. You're gonna have enough here. Yeah. And then you're gonna do the bottom one. We're gonna come back. So when you wanna do the bottom bracelet, that you would do upside down. The top comes on the bottom, and this is the top, and you do it. Now, this is, there are three screws here, and there is a slit right here. Uh, watch there, how we're gonna do it. We have our uh, people from our engineering department helping, helping us today. Also Jasmine. It's a little short. <laughs> So from the bottom, actually this goes in, in here, right? Well, he's pretty much is telling me I don't know how to do it. So I think he's right. Oh, okay. So, Jasmine, if you come here, this has to go here on outside, right? Okay, go to the other side.
Now this one right here, you could adjust how much you want in the back, how much you want in the front, because the pedal goes here. So we're gonna tie this right now. And you could part for that because people know how to tie. Okay, so we're gonna put the pedal now on. So we're gonna need the pedal, the two hinges, the extension for the pedal with the ball don't go down. I also have the shoe down right now, so we're gonna go ahead and put it on right now. Okay, let's go. It's much easier when you have the the table upside down, just put the shoe down. So this will prevent you guys, that, I mean not you guys, the table from shaking. I mean it shakes, but you don't feel it. Mm -hmm. Now with the new, uh, new tech, brushless motors there is not shaking n no shaking at all and a lot of people that use this in their houses they have a hardwood floor very expensive hardwood floor you know you could move this around now um, a lot of people also what they put they do they put wheels underneath so that's something that we don't provide at least not with this type of table and not now soon we might come up with our own type of table but here while you were doing this, mm -hmm. this is the pedal, and you're gonna put the two of the screws here with the back, number 10 screws and the number 10 nuts, and it's gonna go right here. But before it goes right here, we're gonna put the hinges on. And this is what we're gonna do right now. Why don't show here? Yes. There are a lot of holes in the um, in the bracket. Let's call this a bracket. So you could you could do variety. You could move things around, right? See, the holes in here. All these holes. You could, and we tried to make a beautiful background. A Drop, what do you call this? Backdrop, yeah. wide backdrop. But this is a, you need a very wide lens. And um, I, we, we, we know already that you guys uh, like the video to be just from, just, and, 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 how do you say it? And, and, and spontaneously mm -hmm. done. Just, we just, we wake up in the morning and we decide what we're gonna do. We don't have one of those huge studios and... Okay, so... One second. Mm -hmm. This... Let me tell me, por favor. This is the hinge and we put the... the white bushing inside. And then you're gonna put that... in here. And just right now we take over. Because, and then this goes up there, right? That's it. Ready? Yeah, so we did one side and we're gonna do the other side. So, so look at this here. You could have this pedal any place. Some people come and say, me, I have a long leg, I have a short leg, my back, my front. So you could just go ahead and um, place this pedal the hinges anywhere you want. And that's it. I'm gonna put this on pause because you're gonna get bored and I'm gonna come back. So when you do this, actually the, it has to be swinging, meaning that when you do this, it should go back up. It shouldn't be so tight. Otherwise, if it's tight, when you put your feet on the pedal, when you pick it up, it won't come back. Then the machine is gonna be still sewing. And if you see if it's a little bit tight, like right now, all you have to do, put a screwdriver right here and like open it up a little bit. That's all you have to do. Now, what are we gonna do? 
we're going to put the table on the bottom. We're going to put the table on the bottom, upside down. And this is our table, right? So we're going to put the table upside down. We're going to put the K legs on top of it, and we're going to take it from there. Here we go. So easy. This is the front. This is the front. Right? Now, this is exactly four holes where the head goes. This is the three holes where the motor goes. And we're gonna show you how much from the edges you have to be to have a beautiful setup. From the back, three inch, right there. Look at that gold star ruler. Beautiful. One inch. One inch. Yes, sir. One inch. One inch. One inch. One inch. And how much from one inch? And the, from the front, whatever is left. No. Is this a three whatever quarter. is left, because three in quarter. the back you have three inch. Yeah. Now, you have four holes here. One, two, one, two, four. And we're going to go ahead and use a drywall or wood screws. And... These are a beautiful rubber edge tables. Uh, can I have the uh, tape measure? Yes. So, Jasmine, you want to take over? Yes. One and a half inch rubber edge, really heavy duty, beautiful bank. It's not one of those. Trick. Call it garbage looking bag or nasty looking. These get, are nice. You don't get splinters. Yes, that's it. You could put your hands in there. Smooth. Smooth. Right? No problem. Rubber made specially for new tech brand. And then so three inch from the back. Three, two, three, two. Yes. This is for me. Okay, go ahead and put the screw on. So it's a um, it's a drywall screw, one and quarter, one and three eight. You gotta make sure you're solid when you do your measurement because um, you don't want this table to be moving. What do you call it? Off, like off balance. I knew that. I mean. Mobbling? Wobbling. Wobbling. This is an English class too, by the way. <laughs> you don't want it to be wobbling. Exactly. If Jasmine is holding with one hand um, screws, she's really helping out. <laughs> That's it. So put it on hold. I mean, or pause. Yeah. This thing. Three. So in the back, it's going to be the same. All right, in the front, it's going to be the same. Now, the only thing is that you're going to have room here to put the, what are you going to put there? The drawer. The drawer, right here. So, um, very easy. Now, you know what I could hand them out too? You need a, for, for putting this much together, together you need a screw, one of these, uh... Okay. Drill. It makes it very, very easy. Now, uh, you could also... Now you could also make anywhere in the here also you could make hole and make your screws. 
Okay, put them on pot. No. So now we're trying to put the rail on. Before you put the rail on, you could put the hinges on or put the, I mean, before you put the, yeah. the drawer on, you could put the rail on. So you know exactly where you're going with this. You just put it on, mm -hmm. done. You yes, and you put it here. Make sure you show the new tech logo here so nobody does copy. Uh, this is a copyrighted video. And look at that, beautiful. Okay. 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 Done. Done. So when you're gonna make sure when you're gonna have it, you wanna make sure it's a straight. And I never done this, but we're gonna use the same type of screws that we used. That's it. I'm not good at uh, bueno. that means very good to learn Spanish and yeah, let's go ahead and we're gonna come back. Okay, you could put it on pause. Next is a fix, okay? Yeah, okay. So we're gonna we put this on. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this upside down. We're gonna take this off. Put it on the floor, and we're gonna put the head up. We're gonna work on the uh, sewing machine. Yeah. So I'm gonna get it up this, and then we're gonna put this here. Here we go. See? See right now? I'm trying to wobble it. It's not wobbling, Jasmine. Yeah. It's great. Okay. So we actually have to put two rubber. This has to be exactly the way you see it is. And okay. then now. Wait. Wait, wait. We're gonna put the head here. Yes. And when we go, before you put the head, this is the base of the head. There are four. There are four screws here, four holes, and exactly four. And you could have a, if you see you have a, a little bit of problem. Just a little bit. All right. All right, good part. Okay, so you might actually get two set of uh, hinges. One that comes in the table that we already provide and that one comes in the machine. You don't have to use the one that comes in the machine. You could just use them as a spare part later on. Also ball joint, you might get two of them. You don't, if you get two of them, because one comes in the motor and one comes in the box, don't worry about it, you don't need to use them. You're gonna get, as I said, a small tiny screwdriver, a large screwdriver. These two parts are for the, um, for the hinges, you're gonna get three bobbins. You need to order more. You're gonna get 10 needles. You're gonna need to order more. You're gonna get an oiler. You need to order more. Just kidding. And you're gonna get the, uh, um, this is the oil pump. This is not the actual pump. The pump is up there, but this is, we're gonna, we're gonna sit inside the uh, oil reservoir. You will also get this tiny magnetic die that sits inside the oil reservoir just so if there's a needle or something that breaks or anything that inside the machine tiny pieces will come up and you know grab by the magnet and this is the headrest uh, put them on pause and we're going to show how this is done while we're putting the base of the sewing machine on you have a chance or a choice of putting the motor on also when it's upside down. But we didn't do it, it's very easy because now these are five pounds, four pound motors. Actually, this is a 750 watts 
brushless motor, very light. If you want an old time and you had these huge clutch motors, yes, it would worth doing the upside down. But right now, very easy. You have three holes here. This one goes right underneath. And we're gonna come back and show you exactly. And this is the table or the belt cover. So I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do this. Part.